Hello all, a warm welcome to everyone tuning in to the Oracle IAM Insights session today. My name is Sandeep Banerjee, Vice President of Product Development for Oracle Cloud Platform and Infrastructure Services, including Identity Management. We have an exciting session today to take you through the journey of one of our customers who successfully upgraded their Oracle Identity and Access Management solution to 12C and are now running it in Oracle Cloud infrastructure alongside Oracle eBusiness Suite and other applications. It is my absolute privilege to welcome you to my co-host, Kashev Tatwani, Chief Security Architect and Senior Director at BIAS Corporation. BIAS is a strategic Oracle partner and have been instrumental in the success of many of our customers, including the one we'll be talking about today. Before I pass it off to Kashif, I wanted to quickly remind you about our product direction and the journey we have embarked on to modernize your Oracle identity and access management solution. We are innovating with a focus on functional advances, user experience, technical modernization, and operational efficiency. Oracle Identity and Access Management 12C delivers a steady stream of cloud innovations and complementary tools to provide enhanced capabilities and practical coexistence strategies to optimize your current infrastructure. These solutions are geared towards further strengthening your organization's security and risk posture, reducing total cost of ownership with simplification and flexibility, eliminating the risk of running unsupported software, and increasing return on investment on your Oracle identity and access management solutions. Besides the business and technology benefits of 12C, it is also important for our 11G customers to note that premier support for Oracle Identity and Access Management 11G ended in December 2020, and extended support will end in December 2021. So to retain the premier level of support and to alleviate any uplift fees for extended support, 11G customers stand to benefit with a move to 12C at their earliest. For those who missed our modernization journey, product direction, and upgrade factory sessions, we encourage you to take a listen to the replays available on demand at Oracle IAM Insights. With that, Kashif, it's all yours. Thank you so much, Sandeep. I really and greatly appreciate you and Oracle team giving us an opportunity to talk to the group today. Before I get into my discussion and explain around the success story, <clears throat> I would like to briefly talk about uh, Vias Corporation. Vias was founded in 2000. We are headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we, since our inception, we have been an Oracle uh, partner. We have delivered several Oracle technology solutions to the customers, uh, serving as an advisors, implementers, um, and working with the Oracle teams uh, to continue to uh, deliver solutions for our clients. Uh, some of our achievements are listed here, uh, but one primary one which I would like to point out is the award which we received in 2019 for the OCI Partner of the Year Award. Uh, this Global Excellent Award, Excellence Award was given to Bias uh, for the story which we are going to talk about today, which included um, security, but much more than those technologies to migrate to Oracle Cloud. My name is Kashif Dhatwani and uh, I serve as the Senior Director and Chief Security Architect for the uh, BIAS and I lead the security practice at BIAS uh, to deliver security solutions uh, for our customers. BIAS's security practice is uh, delivering solutions from end-to-end uh, -end solutions for the customer, including providing assessments, advisory services, 
implementations, implementing the solutions, whether they are upgrades or new implementations, building the security platforms for our customers. We are also specialized on data security and provides the customers with the data security solutions in cloud and on-premise. And at the end, we also offer day two services for our customers, which include uh, managed services and maintenance of the workloads and environments, whether in on-premise or cloud. So let's come to and discuss our today's story. Uh, we are talking about a large retail customer in North America. They had a large Oracle infrastructure, including Oracle eBusiness suite, databases, identity and access management, and they were migrating their infrastructure and their workloads towards the cloud. The uh, reason for their migration were really to achieve some data center optimizations to leverage the benefits and efficiencies which are built into the cloud, uh, to make sure that the environment is secured and standardized on a secure platform, meeting their individual security requirements, as well as uh, decentralizing management and maintenance so that they can have a day two services or managed services uh, uh, which can maintain and manage their environments. So uh, we implemented this solution for the customer and you know, took them through that journey. Um, but before we talked about the journey, let's talk about what was their environment. And again, I'm talking about their environments specifically in the context of identity and access management. So they were standardized from security perspective on Oracle Access Manager 11G, Oracle Internet Directory 11G, these directory was integrated with Microsoft Active Directory and they had Oracle eBusiness Suite with Access Gate to provide single sign-on and authentication capabilities for their EBS environment, which is a very common use case and I'm sure many of you relate very well to it. From the architecture perspective, the customer had a requirement of having a highly available environment. They had multiple production, non-production environment. As I mentioned, integration with Microsoft Active Directory was a key part of it. They also were adhering to several compliance requirements, security compliance requirements, and they have a global information security policies, which are built internally in the organization based on uh, PCI, SOC, and ISO standards. And it was important for the customer that those uh, compliance requirements are met as well. A very large user base of uh, uh, several thousand internal, several thousand external users. The drivers for taking identity and access management upgrade was really because they were also moving Oracle eBusiness Suite to leverage efficiencies of the cloud. They were taking Oracle eBusiness Suite environment and migrating it to the cloud so that they can standardize on it and leverage the efficiencies of the cloud. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, which is an infrastructure as a service offering from cloud. Uh, so the idea was that take the Oracle IAM workload as well and move it into the cloud and keep it close to EBS environment so we can not only achieve efficiencies for eBusiness Suite, but also achieve efficiencies of the cloud for the Oracle IAM workload. And as part of that move, uh, then it was based on our discussions and, and design discussions with the customer, we uh, the collectively as a group decided to migrate the Oracle IAM workloads into the 12C as well. This was also required because we were converting operating systems from Solaris to Linux, uh, and they wanted to make sure that they are standardized on the new platform. So how did we how did we achieve that? Uh, really, we started with uh, the whole concept of IAM upgrade factory, which I know Sandeep has spent some time on it and discussed that. But very briefly, this whole framework of upgrade factory, which is really based on people, process, and technologies, right? Uh, we use that approach uh, and then utilize the guidance provided as part of this approach to perform this upgrade. Uh, and as part of it, not only that we use this guidance, but we fed back to this guidance, uh, whatever our learnings were. So the future customers of Oracle and BIOS can take advantage of uh, efficiencies or learnings of this, this platform and this framework. So using this framework, uh, we started our journey. We continued with the first step was to really spend time on planning and design. We spent considerable time on it. The reason was that we wanted to make sure that our design 
in the OCI environment, in the cloud infrastructure, meets the requirement to serve both internal and external users. And in addition to that, have a proper connectivity and integration with an on-premise component such as Active Directory. So it was really significant for us to spend some time in planning and design. Once the design was decided, we migrated into a, a build and deployment phase. We, of course, installed and configured the products uh, 12C environment. This was an out of place upgrade. Uh, so the reason was again the same that we were changing the operating systems. Uh, we were upgrading the solution. So we wanted to do a fresh deployments, uh, use the new hardware, use the new operating system uh, to host this platform. Um, we performed the upgrade. We used the out of place upgrade to migrate the data. Um, and then we also built interconnectivity between the on-premise and the cloud so that we have an efficient uh, uh, access to the Active Directory because that's where the crux of the uh, environment was to make sure that users can authenticate and successfully sign in uh, in, a, in a required SLS or in the SLS defined by the customer. So we were able to achieve all that. And of course, we built the DR as part of this uh, solution as well. Once we had the deployments configured and completed, we went into a little bit of an optimization mode. The optimization mode was to create a security infrastructure around the OCI. So Oracle Cloud infrastructure already provides you several security capabilities. We define the policies around networks and object storage and computes to make sure that environment is secured. We also made sure that not only our deployments meet the compliance requirements with the OCI environment. If there are any changes we need to there, do there in the configuration, we make those um, uh, compliance requirements and we complete those compliance requirements. In addition to that, customer was a standardized on a third party uh, multi-factor authentication solution. So we integrated that solution as well with the OCI environment to make sure that users are uh, users have a proper access and environment is secure. At every step of this, we worked with Oracle support. We wanted to make sure that whether it's the time we are spending in constructing the environment, whether we are bringing optimizations for OID uh, plugin to work efficiently between the on-premise and, and cloud and perform those authentications in, a, in, a, in an SLS which have been defined, we were able to achieve all that with the, with the great support from Oracle support teams um, who worked with us hand in hand and uh, continued to flow the information back and forth. We went live, uh, customer was successfully uh, live in the environment, not only that identity and access management environment, but the whole EBS environment was also migrated. And, uh, and of course, uh, the whole project was completed successfully. And then we transitioned the customer into a day two services, managed services where Bias continues to provide maintenance and management of the environment. Some additional facts around it is that uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, environment uh, was not only the OAM or OID migration, but it also included other components like Informatica, Textware. And as you can see, the size of the environment, it was a 55 terabyte databases converting from one platform to the other. A large number of Camleys were addressed as well. And then of course the compliance remained a critical component for the customer of this size. They wanted to make sure that every step we meet the compliance requirements. And so we made sure that all the environments, all the configurations are always uh, meeting the compliance requirements uh, which customer needed. This had a significantly high impact on the customer environment. As you can see, response times were improved significantly. Uh, the system availability was in improved uh, improved uh, significantly there was a significant there was a significant cost reduction uh, from the total cost of ownership perspective and so this was a very successful initiative for the customer for oracle and for bias uh, to have a great success story some of our key learnings in this in, in this process we learned that the pre-upgrade analysis is critical it is important to understand where your gaps are which you can achieve through the whole process of upgrade methodology framework. Uh, 
and identify where the gaps are so you can address them remediate them before you engage into the upgrade process of course oracle cloud infrastructure and hosting all this environment into cloud infrastructure was was really providing us the resilience the efficiencies while customer was not adopting idcs which is a native cloud solution but this having all the environments managed and maintained into cloud infrastructure was a, uh, a great plus for this uh, success we always put a lot of focus on optimizing the oid to work in an on-premise and uh, cloud environment and all these optimizations are now back into the product and into the solution and into the patch sets so that you have them now available as part of your uh, upgrades and then of course upgrade methodology was uh, used significantly and as i said before we have fed back into it so a lot of learnings and experiences have been uh, incorporated into the factory we met the compliance requirement network architecture uh, was designed we spent a lot of time on that design as well because we wanted to make sure that the load balancers and security zones and security policies and all those constructs are properly implemented and again, we continue to work heavily with Oracle support on this. Uh, and it was a combined effort between Oracle, BIOS, and the customer to have a successful environment. And today, customer is live, um, upgraded on 12 CPS 3, and, uh, and uh, working on that uh, environment successfully. So thank you again, Sandeep. I hope this was... Uh, uh, helpful for our for our listeners and uh, they will benefit from this and uh, thank you again for the opportunity to talk to the group Kashif thank you again very much for taking us through this so I hope you found today's session helpful and you're encouraged to further explore how you can upgrade your Oracle identity and access management solution to 12c and run it in Oracle Cloud. Oracle can assist your upgrade planning and execution with the Oracle Identity and Access Management Upgrade Factory. Before I conclude, I want to remind you to tune in to Oracle IAM Insights regularly and stay in sync with what's new and exciting in Oracle's IAM portfolio. Get tips to run your Oracle IAM infrastructure better and to listen to your peers' experiences using Oracle's IAM solutions. Thank you again for tuning in today. We look forward to seeing you at the next one soon.